a little bit about personal branding. There's a confusing message out there. Personal branding is not a new concept at all. In fact, it goes back to about the 1997 time frame and even before that, but it was coined personal branding around 1997. It's changed since then. And to define personal branding, to define your personal branding, there's a number of different components that you need to take into account. There's your side of the equation, and then there's the market side of the equation. If one of them is missing, it's not going to be a personal brand, or the personal brand is just going to kind of like fizzle out into thin air and just have no impact. So you may as well not have a personal brand. So on your side of the equation, you need your skills. You need to identify your skills. You need to identify your passions, what you're good at. You need to identify a uniqueness in the marketplace. You need to show the value that you can deliver to the marketplace. You need to identify how you can help your audience themselves with the value and with the uniqueness. And then on the flip side of the equation, you need to validate that your market is there and ready to receive your personal branded message. There's many ways to do this, but in essence, you need to validate your market. So you've got your skills, your passion, your uniqueness, your value, how you're going to help your audience out there, and the validation of your marketplace that they are ready to consume your services and your value, how you can help them. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, or click on any links that take you back to my blog, my website, garyhyman.com, where you'll get more details of all the reports for personal branding. Thank you and have a great day.